Hi, I'm Tom Myers, and here's another one in our short tips on training fascia. You all know about the stretch shortening cycle, that if you're going to jump up, you scooch down first. We stretch out the tissue that is then going to contract. That works for both the muscles, it prepares the muscles for uh, maximum action. It also prepares the fascia in a good way too. And in doing that, you are cultivating the elasticity of the fascia. We have recently learned that elasticity in fascia can be encouraged in tendons and ligaments, and that the kind of movement that encourages that elasticity, and if you think about elasticity, it's a characteristic of youth, right? If your one-year-old falls down the stairs, they bounce down the stairs. If grandma falls down the stairs, she doesn't bounce so well. So elasticity is a, a property of youthful tissue, but now we know that we can cultivate it but we cultivate it with what used to be called ballistic stretch, bouncy, quick movements. You have to cultivate it within a second. You don't cultivate elasticity at yoga speeds or tai chi speeds. You cultivate elasticity at athletic speeds. And it has to be a rhythmic motion as well. Running, gait, kayaking, things where you are bouncing along and storing and taking back the elasticity within 0.8 to 1.2 seconds. So that is a great way and a way that we haven't really been thinking about of training the fascia. It's important. Keep your elasticity.